What is up everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. If this is your first time here. My name is John. Uh, on Instagram, I am Hated Eco, and on threads as well. And today we've got a little bit of an install for you for the ST. Uh, we got a little mod that we're doing to the hatch on this thing just to freshen it up a little bit. Um, some of you might know without me even saying what it is that we're going to do. Others won't, but we're going to get into it. Here is all that we're going to need. So we've got this little plug. It's going to delete the rear wiper. Got some rubbing alcohol, 10 and a 13 mil socket, water, and that should be all we need to get this install done. I do also have some black silicone because you can use that as well. I will explain how or why you might want to uh, once we actually get the install done. But a huge shout out to Travis from Houston Speed Freaks for working with me uh, on this build. Uh, there are going to be other parts coming that are going to be coming from him. But that's who I got this wiper delete from. So a link will be down in the description below so you can go and check his stuff out. Uh, if you've got any parts that you're looking for, go hit him up and uh, he will get you taken care of. So let's get out to the ST and uh, let's get this install done. Okay, so first things first, we need to take the wiper arm off. To do that, you just lift this up, 13 millimeter nut right there, so we're gonna loosen that off. And then you kind of have to pry from under here and over here, so it's gonna be a two-handed operation. Pry, wiggle it back and forth, and it should come up. It's, there's splines and it's pressed on. Um, uh, so yeah, you're gonna get that off, <clears throat> and then you're gonna take some stuff apart on the inside, and then uh, there'll be a hole. And then we can plug it. So let's take this wiper arm off and we'll be right back. Okay, so update. After uh, four or five hours of trying to get this stupid wiper arm off of here, uh, I've tried a puller. Uh, I've tried coming up with a lever mechanism. I've shot the thing with PB Blaster. I could not get the wiper arm to budge. Then all of a sudden it started making like a popping sound. So I thought we were getting somewhere. Um, however, You'll notice the wiper arm is still firmly attached to the back of the ST, but it's all loosey-goosey. So I went to the next step, which is opening the hatch, uh, pulling down the plastic, which we'll just open the hatch up here. Pull down the plastic, it's all just tabs, um, and it just comes right off. Just be careful. This is the connector for the uh, for the push button. Make sure you don't rip that off, just take it out. So there's the plastics. And I came and I inspected. And uh, yeah, so in trying to get the wiper arm off, we uh, broke a mounting tab, cracked the housing for the wiper motor. Yeah, so... Um, pretty confident that this wiper arm is loctited onto the stud and if that's the case uh ford why why would you loctite the wiper arm onto the stud like that's just there's no no need for that that should have come off without issue this thing's only a 2021 there's no reason for it to be seized on there like that so uh i guess what we're gonna do now is we are just going to have to cut it to be honest with you i'll probably have to get the grinder and just cut that off um I right now don't see any other way that we're going to be able to get that apart. Um, so yeah, this has been an interesting day. Uh, I'm going to sit you guys down again and I'm going to unbolt that wiper motor and see what I can come up with for getting that attachment uh, separated. So stay tuned. All right, so it is day two of the wiper delete fiasco. Um, as you can see, we, uh, yeah, we cut it off. <laughs> had to grab the grinder and we just had to give her a little slice. There's the rest of it there. Like, there's no corrosion or anything in it. So, I don't really know what the issue was with it. All I know is that I shouldn't have been able to crack the motor case while trying to take a wiper arm off. That should have come off in like 
10 minutes, 15, maybe 30 given where I live, but that should have come off. Uh, but it didn't. So, got the grinder out, took it off. Uh, now all we have to do is get the hatch open and drop all the plastics again, and then we can pull the motor out, and then we can finally finish up installing this wiper delete, which I am so excited for. So, uh, yeah, we'll just start pulling down plastics, I guess. So like I said, you just have to grab. These all come down really easy. You don't actually have to pull that hard. No real worry about breaking anything because again, it does come off super easy. I say that as I'm struggling with this side. There we go. And then same with the whole upper portion. You just grab, pull. You'll start hearing all the tabs release and then it will come down. But I'm gonna set you down to do this because like I said, the uh, wire for the button is like right there and I don't want this to come down and be ripped that wire out because then we're into a whole other problem that I really don't want to deal with. Having to cut the wiper arm off is one thing. Having to replace wiring, that's another. So I'm gonna set you down. We're going to pull that stuff down and then we'll get the wiper motor out and uh, finish up this install. Okay, so we finally got the wiper motor out. Here's a better look at it. Like that literally, that cracked like that and that tab broke off and that one cracked there literally from me just prying trying to get that wiper arm off which is absolutely insane but anyways okay so now we can just pull this plug out there's no real need to keep these bolts here uh for mounting the motor since the motor's gone for now i'm gonna keep them there just so i don't lose them um i'll probably put them in a baggie or something at some point but for now they can hang out there just that way i know where they are so now what we're gonna do is wipe this down a little bit because from where I left off last night, some water trickled in around the seal. So we're gonna give that a wipe down. And then we are going to wipe all around here with rubbing alcohol. And we're gonna make sure it gets nice and dry. Um, just that way we've got a really clean surface that we're adhering to. And then yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get the plug in and we'll get it on and we'll clean everything up. So I'm gonna sit you down, I'm going to clean all that off and we'll be right back. Okay, so now that that is all wiped off and clean and dry, we can take the delete plug, which, so this backing piece here has a little bit of 3M, very thin 3M adhesive on it. Uh, it's a Molly plastic, so it's pretty flexible, super thin, super durable, and then the top bit here, this plug, uh, it's an acrylic that actually matches the glass. So I've already peeled up the top to pull it off. There we go. So there's that black acrylic that's gonna match the glass. This is really hard to do with one hand. That's why I pre-pulled these. There you go. So there you have it. There's the plug. So we're just gonna take that now. I'm gonna put it up in there and then we're gonna press it in place. So you're gonna wanna press on that for a little bit just to make sure that it adheres properly. So that's nice and in place there. Uh, and then pull the hatch down, take a look at it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a little off center. However, it's not really gonna bother me because I don't look back here that often. Yeah, so on the camera, it's gonna catch that I did put it in a little off center. Not a big deal to me though, that's in there. That looks so much cleaner than having that big bulky wiper on there. Now what you can do, if you really want, you can run some silicone around there. Just make sure you wipe it off uh, when it's wet. That'll, you know, that'll fill everything in. I'm not too worried about that. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of black silicone just around this, just to make sure that it's 100% watertight. Uh, it should be. I haven't heard anybody say that there's a leaked. Um, it's a really good seal that it creates. Just make sure you don't actually push in on the plug. That's kind of, that, that's a no brainer. Don't push on the plug when you're washing it or anything. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna run a little bit of silicone around that just for extra safety. Um, 
and then that's really gonna be it just have to put all the plastics back up and then that should be done so let me hit this with the silicone and I'll be right back okay so now that that's all on and should be dry enough now we're going to drop the hatch and we're going to do a water test So I've got my trusty Jack's Wax spray bottle. And we're just gonna soak, oops, that's not the spray I want. There we go. We're just gonna soak the snot out of this thing to simulate some rain. That should be good. And we're gonna lift her back up again. And just like that, it's dry, which is what we want to see. So we just have to put all the plastics back up, uh, make sure we connect the hatch button. Um, I'm just gonna tuck, see if I can, oh. Neat. There's another piece of the wiper motor assembly that we broke somehow. Still confused by that. Anyways, uh, we got a dangly wire here um, for the wiper control that I'm just going to try to see if I can tuck it out of the way somewhere. I don't know. Not like it's really in the way. It's going to be hidden by the plastics. Uh, so we're just going to put the plastics back up and then we'll give you one final look of what it looks like on and uh, that'll be it for this video. And there you have it. All the plastics are, are back up. Press the button. Closes all on its own. And there we go. That's what it looks like now with no more rear wiper. And I can definitely say I am pleased. So there you have it. That is the installation for a rear windshield wiper delete for 2020 and up Ford Explorers. Uh, again, thank you to Houston Speed Freaks and Travis for working on me with this one. I can't wait to do some other stuff with this guy going forward. Uh, I'll leave a link down below for the product uh, so that you can go and pick one up for yourself if you want to delete your rear windshield wiper. Uh, thank you for checking out this video. Again, if you like it, make sure you smash the subscribe button, drop a like, drop a comment, let me know what kind of content you want to see in the future. But for now, this one's over. Peace.